the Anchor Soundcore Motion Plus has a firmware update. So I thought I'd have a look, see what has changed, because when you go into the app it says 34.38 upgrade to 35.38. It's a full one step, normally means something significant, but if you read what it says, it says bugs fixed. So obviously, fingers crossed, it's not JBL, so it's not a complete lottery. You're hoping something has really been fixed that we wanted. And I hope you haven't changed the sound because we've been loving it and we call it the pound for pound best speaker in the world. So, straight in. This is a clip recorded in the default mode. Bass up, 66% volume, 100% volume. Before and after this firmware upgrade, you tell me, can you hear a difference? The labyrinth will guide you far away To a place where senses will decay So although on the actual tracks, when I analyze the tracks, if I'm looking at the actual bass and the overall volume, it does seem identical. I did measure the peaks and there was about half a decibel difference, a half a decibel at one meter quieter for its absolute peak after the firmware update. I didn't put that in the stats because that's within, well within margin of error. So probably to your ear, you're not hearing a difference. If you actually analyze, deeply analyze a track, it does look like something's happened, certainly with the high end. So just looking at the graphs of the actual tracks before, after, basically identical. In fact, it is identical if I'm just looking at the bass and indeed the average loudness, absolutely identical, 100% Again, basically identical. So it seems here, real world tracks, no difference. If I just use test tones, slightly different story. So looking at the main EQ modes, default mode, bass up, 66% volume. I've got two speakers, it says speaker one, because this is the test on the first speaker, before the firmware update, after the firmware update. So any differences, very, very slight, within margin of error. Just moving the mic or the speaker itself slightly between tests could explain this result. Bass up suggests slightly less, high end, a little bit more bass. Custom mode there looks like mm, maybe quite a big difference, especially in the mids. I want to say big, we're talking about a decibel there. Again, seems a bit less in the highs after firmware update. Heavy mode, same thing on the highs, fractional, 
but seems less in the highs, seems maybe a little bit more tiny, maybe a quarter of a decibel in the bass. Again, well within margin of error. Original mode, after firmware update, maybe a little bit less in the highs, maybe a little bit more in the bass. 100% custom mode. This is where I'm seeing the biggest difference. Again, in the mids, does seem a decibel difference and not gaining in the bass. So I didn't know if this was margin of error. It seems when I look at the real tracks, there is no difference. So I tested my second speaker, test tones before, test tones after. Bass up 100%. So I'm looking to see when totally pushed what happens. Identical bass, but again, does seem to be a reduction in the highs. Now it does look consistent. Custom mode, where I saw the biggest difference, I wanted to see ultimately how much headroom there is. So this is pushed all sliders full up. And it does seem after you've got less headroom. We're only talking a deci one decibel, but it does seem consistent now. You're getting less headroom, certainly as you move towards the highs with firmware 35.38. It does seem consistent. There's a little bit loss of a high end. Um, why they would do that, I don't know, other than some people say it's a slightly shrill, but then I think that's what the Motion Plus is all about, the detail you get from those tweeters. The main difference was with custom mode. And given that, certainly for me, it's the mode I play in all the time, and so I'm not really bothered about the other modes. If there's something going on there, maybe I'm not that quite that happy. So, in the real world, playing a track, 66% custom mode, all sliders, plus six decibels. Would your ears hear a difference before and after? So, oh my god, custom mode, which made it so brilliant, you've lost a little bit of headroom. You can certainly hear that it won't go quite as loud. You can't push it quite as much, certainly in that high end, even in the mids. So, oh my god, why would you upgrade? Well, there's only one question left, and maybe the other big question is, from the outset, it's been bugged with playing two speakers in custom mode stereo, with both speakers holding the same EQ. Now, I've only tested it by setting the same EQ on both speakers. I haven't tested to see if you only set an EQ on one, and that is the master, does the other speaker automatically take up that? But that could be a more extensive test if anyone's interested down the line. I just want to know, if I set both of them to the same custom mode, then set them playing linked in stereo, are they both playing custom, or as before this firmware update, one of them played custom and the other one played bass up. So you lost some high end on one of the speakers doing that, which you may or may not have heard. Before that was even worse. They played it with bass off. It was unbelievable. But what's happened now? So a quick look at my little test, playing them in stereo and then playing them separately, left and right, running a frequency response test. And as you can see, they are both in custom mode, woohoo. They have finally fixed that bug, been waiting since day one. You will notice the left speaker a little bit more high end than the right hand speaker. And I have to say, when I looked at it afterwards, I found after I had them linked and I turned them off and then I turned them back on again, the right speaker EQ at the high end had slipped by a decibel. The sliders do tend to do that. They do move around a little bit. So it's still gonna be something you'll have to watch, but basically still in custom mode, but yes, one of them at the high end of the last three sliders slipped by one decibel. You do have to actually get them in just the right place or they will start moving around. But basically, it's good news. They have fixed the stereo bug. So, question. 
is a stereo bug fix enough for you, for you to want to upgrade given that uh, in custom mode you've lost some headroom uh, and on quick listen that's probably not going to be that noticeable but it is pretty annoying i can see <laughs> no reason why they would do that take away some of that latitude to actually dial in your own settings but on the other hand yep can dial in some of your own settings and they will both play the same EQ settings left and right. So I hope that answers your question on what's happened in this Soundcore Motion Plus firmware upgrade going from 34.38 to 35.38. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video, hopefully. UK.